defense option. In my video, why you stuck in low ranks, I pretty much give y'all a quick glimpse at why it's good to block and what you can do to really help with blocking. If y'all missed the clip here, go right here. Bad habit number four, not blocking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to come back to the live footage on this one. We have to block, people. We have to block. I understand y'all don't want to take all them punches, man, because they be <laughs> from left to right, man. They be... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They be flying from left to right. You be wanting to get your punch, man. You be wanting to duck and weave, bob and heave. But we got to block, people. Blocking. Blocking. A strong defense makes an amazing offense. We got to block. So basically with this video, I'm going to be going more in depth with defense and what the game allows you to do as you're waking up. So without further ado, y'all already know what time it is. I say it almost every video. Bro, your favorite intro. y'all first things first i want to start off by saying happy new year's to everybody let's be happy to see another year blessed to see another one and let's keep on grinding all right so when you get knocked down you have to decide on what you're going to do when you get up let's go over some of those options baby all right so the first one that i'm going to be touching base on is crouch blocking as you wake up and you decide to crouch block by holding down back this will protect you from lows and mids Now, the advantage of crouch blocking is that it stops the opponent from scoring a hit and it also allows for you to punish any punishable move that they decide to follow up with. And also, blocking allows you to get pushed out to a safe distance, which will force the opponent to have to do something else in order to get back in on you, whether it be a dash, walk in, micro step, or any sort of action that you can react to and base your next action upon. Now, the disadvantage in, the disadvantages of crouch blocking is that you're vulnerable to throws, overheads and your opponent is able to constantly build up great life on you which will inflict more damage once you actually get hit so vulnerable to throw vulnerable to overhead and they're able to constantly inflict great life which makes the throw do way more damage than what it needs to be y'all right, so the next defense option that we will be talking about is backdash or jump the advantages of this is that if you decide to backdash you won't be thrown and you can actually get away from shimmy attempts and it's also good for if they believe that you're going to dp you can also escape freely Another advantage is that if they decide to do a frame trap and they mess up the timing, you will become airborne, which can actually work out in your favor. Now the disadvantage is if you get caught backdash, you will actually open yourself up for big damage. Now the third option that we will talk about is wake up attack. Waking up attack meaning that you're using your character's fastest frame moves, which is a three frame in Street Fighter 5, to hopefully get the wake up chance to hit a button and start a counter hit combo if your opponent decides to mess up their setup. Now, the disadvantage of this is that if your opponent does the correct frame trap, you will cause yourself to get either crushed, counter hit, or thrown if they time any, any of those setups right. The fourth option that we will be covering is the delayed tech option, meaning you will delay the time that you decide to tech as you're waking up. You never want to tech right off the wake up, but give it a slight delay and you'll be able to block and tech at the same time. Yeah. 
Now, the disadvantage to this is that if your opponent sees that you're delay teching, they can delay their counter hit and still get a crush. Not just a crush, but they can also get a counter hit confirm also. The next option that we will be talking about is wake up DP. Now, not every character can do this, but for those characters that do have it, they can also make this an option also. And it's also a good scare factor if you don't do it every time, but if they see that you have meter, they can respect certain options, which allows you to wake up three frame or backdash. And those options actually become more powerful just because of the fact that you have a DP. Now the disadvantage to this is, if your opponent baits your DP, you will eat a lot of damage. Last but not least y'all, wake up critical art. Everybody's able to do this. It allows you to do it when you have all three bars of meter and it's invincible in frame one. So it's an option to think about, but it also has the same disadvantage as wake up DP. If it baits, you get punished hard. If it hits, you get rewarded. But there you have it guys, five good defense options that Street Fighter 5 allow you to do along with advantages and disadvantages. Once again y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and a subscribe on the channel and also check out the links in the description box below for all my social medias and Twitch. Once again, happy holidays to all and stay safe.